Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial in working with Zeb Modeler. Uh, those of you who watched the fifth tutorial will recognise this from the from that tutorial where we actually deleted faces. But what do you want to create faces? Well, this is very very simple. All we have to do is to go into the vertex view mode, which is there. Left click, click on the object we want to add faces to and there we can see the vertices is ready for helping us to, to add faces to that box to create faces or polygons whichever whichever you want to call it click in the create menu select polygon and select strip and then you start creating triangles that would make up the face like so You've created the first one there, now move to the next one. There. Sometimes it's not always easy seeing the vertices that you want to operate on to create new faces, so remember to click the create menu closed and turn your object round so you can see it better. Like so. And then go back into the create menu, the polygon and strip. And away you go again. Ah, now that is interesting because what I've done there is missed the vertex. You'll often do this, it's, it's an annoying little thing that occurs but it's quite easy to fix. Just click on the modify menu and select delete and click the vertex. And and that's it, that's gone. Now go back to creating the polygons with strip. That's it. And finally this side. There, done. Now you'll often find it easier, especially when you're working with a complicated model, that you, the area you want to work on is all triangles, but if you convert it to quads it makes it much easier for selecting purposes. So to do that, click back into object view mode, right click on the object you've modified, convert to quads, and you can see the triangles have been replaced by uh, full quad side faces. You'll also notice that there seems to be some unevenness about the faces we've created. We can soon fix that. We use the cal Calculate Normals uh, tool for this, which is found under Surface, Normals, Calculate, and click the object. Now we have a look at that. You can see it smoothed it off. And that's how you add faces convert to quads and calculate your normals. See you in the next tutorial.